Oh, well, it's almost the weekend. It is Thursday. Oh, shit. I just got home from work, and I stopped off at Metal Supermarket on the way. Picked up some metal so we can fabricate. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got that cold. Picked up some metal so we could fabricate a stand for the brake press here. Um, we're going to try out the new welder. We're going to TIG weld it and MIG weld it. <coughs> oh, that cold won't go away. This is like the fifth week. It's fucking brutal. But, here she be. What are you doing? Are you rolling around again like a slug? Are ya? Tomcat. You're getting all dirty. You guys ever have one of those holy shit moments? What the hell was I thinking? Well, that happened to me when I bought that metal. I just busted out the trusty welder because when I was making my stand, and I went to go get the pieces cut. I forgot to add the pieces for the bottom feet. So, I got this piece and this piece right here. We're going to weld up like the one on the bench. <clears throat> yeah, so all I did was ground the backside flush. <clears throat> and then added this on. That'll be the leg. We're going to do the same with this I'm one. I'm telling you, man, this welder is so freaking smooth. Man, I'm so glad I bought it, because this thing is the cat's ass. Tomorrow's Friday, and I want to have a fire. <clears throat> so hopefully it doesn't do something foolish like snow or rain or something. Because that would just spoil everything. <sighs> well, we were going to have a fire tonight, but last night, like I said, it's probably going to rain, and I should probably have my wood covered up. But, oh well. Tomcat's kicking back outside. Hey, buddy. I know you hate it when it's wet. I just finished chopping some wood, even though it's wet. And I got some down there in case I get a fire going. Hopefully that'll help dry it out. And then, as I feed it, I'll feed these ones in. But hopefully, these don't feel too bad. They may light. I need to get a tarp for this, because all this kindling I cut up just soaked all right today's the next day took Tomcat to the vet and things just moving by quickly got the new hot water tank just installed it's like the same one got some shark bite fittings up there uh, new gas regulator man fancy Tank eight years, part six years expires January 31st 2025 I did keep the old tank so we're going to do a video on that. We're going to take it apart to see how much scale was in it. Because in the past month, it has been popping like popcorn in the microwave. So it's, I don't know, I'm going to guess maybe a couple inches of scale on the bottom. We're going to see how close it was uh, to that tank being damaged. Because in Calgary here, they say you're supposed to change your tank every 10 years to be safe. Some people have gone longer. I know some people that have had their tanks in for 16 years. And before they swapped them out, mine's about 13, and we're gonna see, we're gonna cut it apart. But that video is gonna be on my second channel, so that's taken care of. Uh, so now, if there's any issues, house insurance can't say anything because every time you go for new insurance, they always ask you how old is your hot water tank because they could just burst and you know, big, huge bill. So, we're gonna head outside the garage, do some work, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I'll see you once I get out there. Ah, just heating up the garage to 7 degrees, now we're outside. Today's going to be the first test. And we're going to bust out the welder and finish the project building for the stand. I removed it from the wood. I'm going to chop that up later so I can burn it tonight. But we got all our metal, plus these two pieces that I kind of messed up on. We're going to get started on that. And uh, do some real work. I just got this tacked together, just seeing how it fits. That's going to be the base of the legs. Those, of course, are going to be the feet that are going to go underneath. And I marked the holes out on there. This thing's not too square. It's not too bad here. But you go over to this side. And, uh, yeah. 
Things weren't so square in Chinatown, I don't think. This is the struggle I face in my garage, is lack of space. I need to put the car on skates. That way when I'm doing something like that, I can just skate her over a couple of feet. I really need to get this done so I can free up the space in my shed where I can store a lot of crap. But what I did right now, is I just got, it just tacked to one side there and one side there. And what I did is I took a measurement from there and then a measurement on the back side. And I used a rubber mallet over there and I tapped it to even it out. And now we're gonna put a tack side on the bottom side, or not on the bottom side. We're gonna put a tack on the opposite side. And then that should keep it for hopefully from leaning over. And then we're just gonna weld it straight in. My one word of advice I can give you guys, I just drilled the holes. As you can see, that thing is way out to lunch. But uh, don't cheap out on drill bits. These 716s, they're like cheap no name. These ones here are good ones. These ones here will slice through this like butter. These ones here, no matter how many times you sharpen them, the metal is harder than the drill bits. Those drill bits just get instantly So dull. if you're planning on doing any kind of major drilling, don't screw around, spend the money, get good drill bits. You'll thank yourself later. This is the moment you find out how true it was when you weld it. You should actually just tack it all up, make sure it fits before you weld it. Like I welded it up and I got lucky, but sometimes you could fit it up and you know, your legs may not be straight, but you can see right here, money in the bank. Do the finishing weldings, and this stand will be It'll be, be motherfucking beer time. Oh wait, we gotta paint it first. Hey buddy, he's still mad at me from the vet visit, but he's all healthy, all of his shots and booster shots are done now, hey buddy, he's mad at me still, yeah, walk away, <sighs> that press, I should say that brake press came in a wooden box, I cut it all up, nails and all, so I'm going to burn that tonight, that's enough wood that should burn for a little while. Now the welders put away, did a great job. Stand is finished. Tomorrow, I'm gonna probably get the engine hoist to lift up the press to put it on there. <clears throat> Just gotta figure out a way that I could rig it up safely. And then I busted out the Lincoln TIG welder to try it out. Now, the sob is 100 times better. Anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. We're ready. Easy way, IPA. Motherfucking beer time. Easy way, IPA. I don't mind this one. A lot of IPAs, they're hit and miss for me. Some taste pretty good, and some taste like you got a bar of soap in your mouth, just to kind of put it bluntly. Uh, it's a pretty good week so far. My first weekend off, Man, I got the hot water tank installed, built that stand for the press, parts for that chainsaw, <clears throat> should be showing up soon. I think next weekend all my projects are caught up, so going back to work on the car, putting the braces in. Unless something else happens, not too sure. Anyways, I'm going to get going. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, otherwise motherfucking beer time. I'm just burning all that Chinese wood right now and it fucking stinks to high hell. Probably toxic fumes and everything.